Hey, dear saints, let's talk about the fifth commandment. You shall not murder. What does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we do not hurt or harm our neighbor in his body, but help and support him in every physical need. The entire commandment is really wrapped up in those four words, do not hurt or harm, but we should help and support. Hurt your neighbor is clear. We understand that. That means no stabby stabby. That means no hurting your neighbor in his body. That means no actual sin where you do the sin against your neighbor. But what does it mean to harm your neighbor? Harming your neighbor is a little more elusive. Harming your neighbor is in the story, the parable of the Good Samaritan. The man is laying there, he's beaten and bloody, he needs help, and the priest walks by on the other side of the road. He did harm to his neighbor by not helping him. The Levite walked on the other side of the road as well. He harmed his neighbor because he refused to get involved. You see, harming our neighbor is a sin of omission. Stabby stabby is a sin of commission. I did it. A sin of omission is something I could have, I should have, I should have done, but I didn't help. That's a sin of omission. When we look at this commandment, we shall not hurt or harm our neighbor, but we should help and support. Help and support is what the Good Samaritan did in that very parable. When he saw the man on the side of the road, when he had no obligation to help him, he did. He was loving his neighbor. He picked him up, he bound up his wounds, he took him to the hospital, he paid for the room, and he said when he came back he would pay any existing expense. That's helping your neighbor. That's supporting your neighbor. That's the gospel in the fifth commandment that God has put you and me in a position where we are there to love our neighbor. And our neighbor means anyone that we're close to. If you see someone that is struggling, someone whose body has been hurt, we are to help and support and care for them and love our neighbor as our Lord has loved us. The Samaritan had compassion on the man that was broken. In the same way, our Lord has compassion on us. Our Lord sees us busted and broken. He sees us in our world, and he knows that we would be separated from him if he does not have compassion. So he gets involved. He steps into our world in a real physical body. He grows and shows miracles and shows us that he is the Messiah, God's promised compassion for us. He goes to the cross he dies for our sins. He takes all of our hurt, all of our murderous thoughts, all of our sins of omission upon himself, and he dies for them. And he gives us holiness and righteousness, and he loves us, and he gives us his spirit so that now when we look at the world around us, we see our neighbors and we love them. We don't hurt or harm, and where we do, we ask for forgiveness, but we do help, and support our neighbor in all things. This is the fifth commandment, and the gospel in the commandment is where God has put you into this world to help and to support your neighbor. Remember your baptism, live in your baptism, go in his peace. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.